Shelley Hoffberg is a clairvoyant, medium, pet psychic, and tarot reader. She does not ask for the details about your life, but primarily relies on her gift of clairvoyance to receive the psychic insights that will be the most helpful to you about your soulmate, relationships, money concerns, and your career path. As a pet psychic, she will receive insights about what your pet or pets wants you to know. As a medium, she will connect with your loved ones on the other side. Shelley Hoffberg is the host of the Psychic Horizon radio show, produced by Goldilocks Productions and presented on Blog Talk Radio, Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Shelley brings together the pioneers and visionary teachers to share with you some of the most enlightening knowledge that is out there today to expand your horizons and open the paths to higher consciousness. Welcome to the Psychic Horizon Show. I'm your host, Psychic Shelley Hoffberg, and today's special guest is Kirsten Ross, who will be talking about intuition and doing psychic medium readings for you. And before I bring on Kirsten, I just want to make some quick announcements that on March 22nd, Eve Spirit Speaks will be my guest talking about the four Claire's. On March 29th, Carl Young will be my guest talking about dreams. On April 5th is Frank Fountain talking about tarot. On April 12th is Jeremy Ryden, the author of Your Quest, The Quest Method, Your Intuitive Destiny Guide, and Your So Story, How to Create the Life You Always Wanted. And on April 19th is Brian Ross, who's the host of the Magical Journey radio show, Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Pacific time. And on April 26th is Bob Stahl, who will be talking about angel cards. And uh, I'm going to be at um, the School of Multidimensional Healing and Science Psychic Fair in Irvine, California on March 31st from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., and on April 28th, I'll be back at the School of Multidimensional Healing Psychic Fair, and on April 7th, I'll be at the Healing Key Psychic Fair in Long Beach. On April 8th, I'll be at the the New Earth Expo event at at the Garland Hotel in North Hollywood, California, And on April 14th, I'll be at the Learning Life Foundation Psychic Fair from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'm now ready to bring on my guest, Kirsten Ross. Hello, Kirsten. Hi, Shelley. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. And can you tell the callers a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive. So I connect people with their loved ones who have passed. And I also do intuitive readings, which is more like a psychic reading about you and your life um, and uh, your life path. Um, I've recently added pet mediumship to my roster as people have been asking about it. And sure enough, it's been uh, happening. So that's exciting. And, uh, you know, our pets are just, they have souls just like we do. And they never, the soul never dies. And and Kirsten, let's take our uh, first caller, which is area code two one two. Hello, two one two. Yes, hi. This is uh, Bryn in New Bryn? York City. Bryn. Bryn, B R Y N. Oh, Bryn, B R Y N. Hello, Bryn. Hi there. Hi, Shelley, and hi, K- Kirsten. Right, Kirsten. Yeah, Kirsten. Mhm. Oh, great. Um, well, I have a specific question. Um, I'm finally tr- trying to get my artwork out into different places, and I'm um, I'm looking at putting it up in sort of cafes that show artwork, you know, where people eat, or holistic 
centers where they might have, uh, you know, spiritually oriented artwork that they might want to see. And uh, my question is, um, will I be able to find these places? <laughs> I live in New York City. I'm in New yeah. York City, and yep. and um, I want to get. Uh, uh, I, I, I've been trying to find them online, but I don't. I can't really locate things online. So maybe I just better just do some footwork or something and just mm-hmm. go around places haphazardly yeah. or whatever. You definitely will. I got a definite positive about that. And as you were talking, I just made a couple of notes and I wrote down yoga studios. So that may be another oh, place you can go. Okay. And, you know, I just get information from my guides. And I also saw the month of July. So um, that might be important for you and your artwork career. Um, okay. So I got those two things just as you were speaking about it. So for sure you can do this. It just takes a little footwork getting out there and thinking outside of the box. And the yoga studios right. is just, you know, what my guys are saying would be also an avenue that you might not have thought of. Right, right. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah you can definitely well, do this. It's just a matter of right. sometimes you got to pound the pavement, <clears throat> you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I figured, too, for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. And well, th- thank yeah, you. I think I think you can do you can do well. Just you know, raise your energy before you talk to someone. If you just sound a little bit, you know, low key or <laughs> possibly yeah, depressed. Yeah, so my and energy so, has not been yeah. that great lately. It's yeah. been kind of uh, I've been feeling very fatigued actually. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I, I hear that in your voice, and it's just a um, you know maybe address that first before you speak to people, just um, to. You know, I don't know if you need to make a change in your diet, but I'm actually seeing um, greens and, you know, healthy healthy things like, sh- you know, shakes or something that you can put into a blender with fruit and vegetables and have more of that fresh food. Um, okay. Yeah. Does it feel like you need right. some upliftment of energy in all areas? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you. I feel that you're going to be showing your art at a cafe. The cafe mm-hmm. shows various artists. You know, they have artwork, and it's kind of a in Manhattan, mm-hmm. you know, uh, is where it's located. I feel that in Long Island and Manhattan is the area that you should be looking at, you know, because I okay. feel it has more high-end restaurants and metaphysical bookstores. And you could find right. it online. You just put metaphysical bookstores New York or restaurants New York, and you'll come up right. with listing for restaurants and metaphysical bookstores. You know, okay. So you'll be able to find yeah. it online. But I do feel it's going to be kind of uh, at three or four different places to start out, and then it's going to expand. And you might also consider doing an art show, you know, because your art is very unique and different. And yeah. I think that you can get an art show if you try and just put art galleries in New York and you'll come up with some art galleries. And it has pictures of the gallery, so you'll be able to take a look and see if it appeals right. to you, if it's something, a place that you want to, you know, have yeah. a show but I feel that there could be some shows coming up in spring, summer for you. So I think that's going to do well. And, Kirsten, how can the caller get in contact with you? Yeah, it's um, thank you. Um, I love what you said, Shelley, by the way, and that might be where the July comes in as well. Um, So (laughs) you got a double whammy here from both of us. It's great. (laughs) Um, My website is foreverinspirit.com, and my phone number is 310 Four nine zero seven four two four, and you could get a hold of me at eight one eight seven four four five two four one, or go to psychichorizon dot com. And thank you for calling the Psychic right. Horizon Show. Yeah, thank you both for your help. Bye, I Appreciate Grant. it. Bye. I'm now Bye. going to start my interview with Kirsten Ross, and then we're going to take our next caller, which is Airy Code. 708. How did you develop your intuition, Kirsten? 
Oh, gosh. <clears throat> you know, I've had it all my life, and I've, uh, as a kid, knowing things about people, you know, I always, I just thought everybody did, and it's not until I was an adult that I realized that not everybody knows things. So as I started to trust it more and just go with it, um, as you open open yourself up to it, it kind of develops on its own as a result of being open to it. But also, um, I've read a lot, studied a lot, taken classes, and just, you know, I used to do, I started off doing readings for free, and for anyone who's interested in developing, you know, intuitively, psychically, mediumistically, you know, you have to do it. And so... Um, I did that for probably a year and a half or something, just until I, well, what happened is organically, you know, after you do your footwork with classes and studying and developing, and I I think I'll always be studying and developing because I just want to be the best uh, of the best and highest service I can be. Um, after you do that, it organically will just start to open up. Um So what happened for me is I did these free readings for people, and eventually it was like friends and then friends of friends and then friends of friends of friends, and then I had clients because I didn't know these people. So I had to start charging because, you know, at a certain point you realize this is something that's valuable to people. So, But I just say with anything you want to pursue, never stop learning and growing. Awesome. And let's take our next caller, Kirsten, which is area code 708. Hello, 708. Hi. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Barb. Barb? And I'm Barb. Um, yeah, I'm kind of in a uh, predicament. I've got um, two mortgages. Uh, the second one is due uh, shortly, and my husband is very ill. The first bank turned us down. Do you see us being able to, and I really would rather not move him at this time. Yeah. And is there, do you see me um, having any success with a different bank? Okay. Let me see. Um, I'm so sorry. Your husband is ill. Um, And I do feel like the fear and the the, um, anxiety around all of this, you know, that you're going through. (sighs) You know, I I do feel there's a loan out there for you. I'm just trying to get this quickly. Um, And I keep seeing the month of April, so that's not far away at all now. Um, So I do feel something will break loose for you in April, whether it's a loan from a bank um, or it could be from another source. Um, So sometimes when I'm speaking and I'm, you know, channeling or whatever I don't always know why I say things like that but it almost feels like it could be an outside source like if you have a friend or relative or something who has assets or can help you in this way it almost feels like an outside source in that way Um, so I do feel like this will um, ease up and turn around uh, next month so wherever it comes from I do feel it is coming Um, okay great yeah so I, I do feel like there's someone else connected to you that may help you, though. You know, someone that you know. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Barb, I feel that there's going to be a small savings and loan. It's not a big bank. It's a smaller bank. It's a savings and loan. And I feel that you'll be talking to a mortgage broker you know, possibly going, getting a different mortgage company um, that could help lower your mortgage. I think you should look into getting your mortgage lowered and talking to a mortgage broker. I think that that's a good possibility with your husband being ill that you'll be able to qualify for a lower mortgage. And you should call Keep Your Home California. They're advertised on TV, and they help with people with mortgage problems, and you oh, might qualify, okay. and you might qualify for that. That's called Keep Your Home California, and you, I don't think you have to be in California to use them. And you might okay. qualify for that, so I would look into that. Um, so I think that you are going to be able to get a mortgage and be able to stay in your home. I don't see a move. I do see you staying in your home. 
And Kirsten, how can Barb get in contact with you? Yeah, and you'll have to let us know, Barb. Keep us posted about that. Um, my website is for yes, uh, it's foreverinspirit dot com, and my phone number is three one zero four nine zero seven four two four. And you can get a hold of me at psychichorizon dot com, or eight one eight seven four four five two four one. And thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon Show today, Barb. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm now going to continue my interview with Kirsten Ross, and then we're going to take our next caller, which is area code 770. What are some steps people can take to develop their own gifts, Kirsten? Oh, yes. So I, um, I think whatever you're drawn to is what you're supposed to be doing at that moment. For me, um, it's been different things at different times. So, I like um, YouTube, for instance. It doesn't cost anything, and you can see other people. Um, there's lots of teaching on there and seeing people doing readings, and um, there's articles on the Internet, so it doesn't have to cost money. But you can also do classes, and that can be online or in person. Um, there are lots of books out there. There are people who do mentoring, um, uh, I'm one of those people. There are many people who do mentoring. I had a mentor in the Boston area for a couple of years. And, you know, now now we're colleagues. But um, I never met her in person. It, I was doing it by phone twice a month. I would speak to her. And she was a full-time medium, and she just gave me so much help and inspiration and encouragement. And so I think that whatever you want to do, it's good to have a mentor, somebody who kind of is doing what you want to do and then sort of follow their lead. It has to be a good fit, but um, I, I'm really uh, passionate about, you know, helping people develop their gifts as well. So I think whatever you're drawn to at the moment is what you're supposed to be doing, but um, it doesn't always have to cost a fortune. You know, you can start <laughs> looking on the Internet and just looking at articles and videos. Um, so that's kind of, you know, where I started and just – doing readings for people, just doing it, you know, starting with friends, and then it'll branch out from there. Thank you, Kirsten. And let's take our next caller, which is Sarah Code 770. Hello, 770. Hello. Hello. And who do we have the pleasure of speaking to? Shanika. Shanika. Hello, Shanika. Hi. And Shanika, Hi. what is your question? I just had a question about um, job. Um, where I work at now, I'm sort of getting kind of tired of it, so I was wondering, do you see anything as far as my next job move? Right. Okay. Yeah. I do feel like that job you're in is at a sort of a stale place, and you're actually um, quite, I feel, very um, bright and motivated. And so you need something that's more challenging. Um, so I do definitely see a move here for you. Just asking him for a timeline. Okay, they're saying to be a little bit patient um, because this may be going into um, later in the spring, May, June, um, but before summer I think you'll change jobs. So it may take a couple months is what I'm saying. Um, but let me see if they're saying anything else about this. Um, yeah. I do feel like this would be a move up for you, more responsibility, um, more money, and, and room for growth, room for growth. So where you are just feels very stale and stuck. So it's a great idea to go out. I mean, it's a really good timing. That's what I feel right now, you know, mm -hmm. for you to get something better. Just you need to have more mental stimulation. Um if you know what I mean. You need to use your skills mm -hmm. and your gifts. So yeah. I think you can really help someone. Are you um, – <clears throat> they just keep showing me, like, writing and stuff like that. So I don't know if you're an executive assistant or you do something with writing, but they may be showing me something else that you want to do on the side. Um, uh, but do you do office-type stuff? No, I, I don't. Okay. So 
when I see writing and it's not to do with exactly your question, mm-hmm. you actually you actually may be a very good writer and you might if you don't already do this, start getting your ideas down on paper. Because okay. When I receive messages from my guys or from spirit, it always has meaning for them. Sometimes we just mm-hmm. have to find out what that is. And so um, I think you're actually a very good writer. You might want to explore that. I don't know if you've ever thought about it, but um, that's what they're showing me. And the other job might okay. have something to do with that as well. Okay. Yeah. Nika, I feel that you're going to get a job in April, May. So, you know, we have about uh, two and a half months to two months, and then you'll be getting a new job. It looks like it's not going to be what you're doing now. It's going to be in a different field of work. Mm-hmm. So I feel you're going that the the doors are opening up for you to get involved with something new that would be more financially lucrative and more beneficial to you, giving you opportunities for growth and promotion and to expand your money. So I feel it's coming in April, May, the new job. And um, I feel that it will be a good job for you and that you'll be happy with it and that it will be long-term employment. You'll be there a long time. And Kirsten, how can Shanika get in contact with you? Sure. Uh, my website is foreverinspirit.com. My number is 310-490-7424. And you can get a hold of me at psychichorizon.com or go to or call me at 818-744-5241. And thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon okay. Show, Shanika. Thank you. Okay, good luck I'm now with your gonna, new job. <laughs> thank you, Shanika. I'm now going to continue my interview with Kirsten Ross, and then I'm going to take my next caller, which is Carolyn, area code 818. What is the most important thing to remember when developing your gifts, Kirsten? Oh, I think the most important thing is trust. Uh, You have to trust the information that you get. And um, that's difficult sometimes when, you know, you're thinking, I'm I'm hearing something that's different than I'm thinking, you know. So you have to sort of leave your thoughts out of it and just trust the intu you know, your intuition and your senses because we use if if we can all of our senses and so we're seeing things, hearing things, feeling things, knowing things, smelling things. And you just have to trust it as strange as it sounds. Usually your first intuitive thought is the correct one. Um so trust is the most important thing. Uh in developing your gifts, I think. And I think that most of us still sometimes struggle with that. And just, you know, no matter what, you just have to stick with what your guides and your people are saying. Oh, that's awesome, Kirsten. And let's take our next caller, which is Carolyn, area code 818. Hello, Carolyn. Hi. Hey, uh, Kirsten and Shelley. Um Hi. The- <laughs> the question I have is, are there any messages for me from spirit? Okay. Um, I just heard brother. Um, do you have a brother in spirit? Yes, I do. Okay. So your brother is definitely around, and um, just want you to know that. It gives you a thumbs up. Um, so oh. I think it, you're following... A, 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 your own path, and there's a thumbs up on that. You know, not following like the family dynamic or something like that. Yeah. Um, um, that everybody else might be doing. You might be a little bit of the um, odd man out or something. But it's like you're you're following the right path. You know, so he wants to give you confirmation about that. Um, also, um, parents as well. But your brother, for some reason, came in first very strongly. And wants you to know Thank he's you. still around and with you, and um, mm-hmm. there's a lot of a lot of people on the other side for you. I mean, I could go on for hours, but I don't want to take up too much time. But um, I think it's important for you to know your brother is behind you and supports you in whatever you're doing. Um, that's 
a little bit different from your family. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Shelly, you have any questions? Um, yes, your father is coming through, and he's very concerned about your well-being. Uh huh. And he says that there's going to be uh, a powerful healer that you're going to be working with. It could be the man that we saw. You're going to be working with him, and, oh, okay. and getting private getting private sessions. You know, because he gives you longer time in a private session. Oh, so okay. yeah, so she he says you need to work with the healer, you know, on on clearing your health issues, and that the man that you saw, uh, that we saw on Saturday would be the perfect and ideal healer for you. He would be able to clear your health issues so that you would have more vitality and energy and feel a lot better. Oh, okay. And Thank Kirsten, you. how can Carolyn get in contact with you? Oh, my website is foreverinspirit.com and my phone number is 310-490-7424. Thank you both. And thank you for calling, Carolyn. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Uh, we're now going, uh, I'm now going to continue my interview with Corson Ross, and then we're going to take our next caller, which is area code 417. What are some signs and symbols you might receive, Kirsten? Oh, that's a great question. There are so many, um, you know, because spirit is limitless, <laughs> and so are our guides. But for instance, um, let's say if they are bringing up, spirit is bringing up how they passed or a health issue, um, I will feel it in my body. So um, I might feel um, a a chest pain and I know that that's a heart attack. Or I might see or feel the lung area and feel like it's dark and that would indicate lung cancer to me. If I feel short of breath, I would ask them, you know, what's this about? And um, they would give me specific information. You, the important thing is to ask. You know, sometimes we're so busy trying to figure it out, we forget to ask, like, if my heart's pounding fast, is, you know, what more can I get from this? So I know whether it's a heart attack or stroke or um, uh, anxiety, for instance. So as we do this and as we grow um, we get to know our own symbols. I think every medium and psychic has their own vocabulary. It's like learning a new language and just getting uh, comfortable and fluent in your this language which is a little bit different for all of us. Um, so that's like medical stuff and then you know for instance sometimes it's very literal like I'll see a car and um, then I'll get the feeling of someone passed in a car accident or someone just got a new car. So there's different feelings about that. So you have to pay attention to different senses. You know, I see and I feel and I hear. And sometimes, like in the last reading, I just heard brother. So I have to ask if she has a brother in spirit, and that's usually what it is, and it was. Um, but I think all of us, you have to trust that, you know, your guides are working with you and your particular way and your own gift and the way you receive messages. So, um, you know, you might get different symbols for the same thing, and I might get them in a different way. Um, but that's a topic that's so huge, I could go on for hours about <laughs> signs and symbols, you know. Um, I just love to talk about it. You know, I could talk and talk, but I'm sure people want to um, get readings as well. So... <laughs> I'll let that happen. Well, let's take our next caller, Kirsten, which is area code 417. Hello, 417. Hello, how are you? Hi. I'm fine, how are you, and who do we have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, my name is Linda, and Hello, I'm calling Linda. from Florida. Hi. Um, let's see here. I guess my question um, is I want to do a business, and I was wondering... What do you see, how do you see it going for me? Okay. Okay. Um, you know, I see you being actually very um, 
I don't know if you've been in sales before, but I see a very confident, charming aspect to your personality, which would lend itself to um, having your own business. You may have had your own business in the past, but it just feels like you're very comfortable with selling or something like that. Um, and it may, may be just natural for you, you know? Um, okay. So I do think that um, I, I feel very positive about this trying to ask them more information about it but um, I think that ultimately you're selling yourself you know I don't even know what that means <laughs> but yeah with your, I understand what that means okay good um, with your enthusiasm and your charm and your personality and your good energy this is definitely mm-hmm. gonna work for you just just don't expect you know like sometimes we expect too much too soon, and I think it's great to have wonderful goals and expectations, but just to know that you know sometimes there are speed bumps, and that's part of business as well. Um, so mm-hmm. they're saying just you know keep going, and I feel like that is your personality anyway. It's just like yes, yes, yes. All the signs are good. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, you you definitely will do well at this and. I feel like you present yourself in a really great, um, great way, and I don't know what it is you're doing, but I see you speaking to a lot of people about it, so that's great. So, yeah, okay. good. I'm just asking them for anything else. So, is there a, a plan for June? Because I'm seeing June. Um, if you don't know about it, I think that would be a very good time for you. Like well, it's kind of in the works right now, and so hopefully by then it yeah. should be. <laughs> kicked in you know yeah yeah I think that that June will be um, like an exciting thing for you in your business expanding because I see you talking about it and and showing it in front of people Um, okay awesome yeah so but you see it like being successful um, making good money for me or or the family yeah yeah I do I think is this I don't know if this is something creative but what they're showing me is something um someone who makes something that people have in their yeah. homes. So I don't know if that's you, but that's kind of the well, feeling I'm getting. It has to do with baking. So obviously okay. it's something a lot there of people go. do anyway. So but yeah. it is a little more on the creative side of things. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yep, making something right. that people but, use in their homes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I think you'll do really well. Thumbs up that there's a big – big thing happening in June where maybe you'll get a big order or you'll do some big trade show and you know what I mean like there's something big in June so you can expect great okay. positive things coming okay awesome now, I, feel, I feel Linda that the business is going to be successful for you and that it's mm-hmm. going to open up new avenues of success in addition to doing the banking you might be doing something else that's a creative venture. It's going to kind of open the door for other things for you. And there's a lot of growth and expansion between now and August with the business. I feel the business will be starting in the near future. It won't be too long in the future that the business Mm -hmm. is starting. And by August, you'll be established. And I do feel that... Um, you would be selling your baked goods not only to people, but to businesses that you know, like liquor stores, markets, um, cafes. That you'll be, you know, having your baked goods in those venues, and that that would be good, not to just limit yourself to customers, but to go for bigger venues. That would be very mm-hmm. good for you and successful and you'll have good business relationships and be able to have a long-term business relationship and that you'd be able to make more uh, profits if you also concentrate on having your goods and businesses as well as doing it on your own. And Mm -hmm. I think that expos and trade shows would be good. You know, it's a way of building up your Uh, your customer base list and building up your customers. A lot of people go to these trade shows and expos. So I think I would look into that. And even doing a, being a vendor at a psychic fair would be good. You know, look into that. 
So I feel that Good. there's a lot of avenues for success for you. And Kirsten, how can Linda get in contact with you? Uh, my website is foreverinspirit.com, and my phone number is 310-490-7424. And you can get a hold of me at 818-744-5241 or go to psychichorizon.com. And thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon Show today, Linda. Great. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Thanks. You guys have a good night. You too. And uh, we're now going to, to continue our interview with Kirsten Ross, and then we're going to take our next caller, which is area code 334. Uh, Kirsten, how do, you know if, how do I know if I'm connecting with my guides? <sighs> okay. Um, question also. Um, you know, one of the ways is if I'm thinking, like if I'm I'm using my um, you know brain to think, um, it's it's it comes from a different place. I'll say that. So if I'm thinking, it's not that. <laughs> it's like making myself a blank slate and receiving. So one is active and one is passive. So I would say, you know when you're passive, making yourself a blank slate, and things are just sort of dropped in um, from above, and that's the way it feels. It feels different. Like, why did a picture of a, a dog just come into my mind and the name of Sparky? You know, it's like that. It's not thinking at all. Um, so it's bypassing the thought process in a passive way, and that's why we meditate and open up our chakras to receive. And there's a you know, there there may be a subtle difference if you're not used to sensing the difference. But um, if you're thinking, you usually get to that point where you know, I'm thinking, I'm getting in my own way, and just go back to being a blank slate and receiving and being passive, you know, shutting the brain off. That's the best way I could describe it in a short period of time. Let's take our next caller, Kirsten, which is area code 334. Hello, 334. Hello, Hello, thank you for taking my call. And who do we have the pleasure of speaking to? This is Shakira. Claire? Sh- Shakira? Shakira. Shakira. Yes, Shakira. Oh, what a great name. Shakira. Sh- thank you. Shakira? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So, um, <clears throat> what do you need? And what is your question, Shakira? <laughs> Yeah, I was waiting. <laughs> but, um, I know. I just want to know what the spirit had to say for me as far as meeting a life partner or yeah. a relationship coming in. Okay. I knew your question was going to be about that. <laughs> I felt it. Okay. Mm. Let me see what I'm getting here. Okay. Yeah, this has been a feeling, feeling like it's been a rocky road for you. So... I'm feeling like a little bit like your picker is broken. So, you know, there are nice guys out there. And um, you need to be just more um, more sort of receptive to the nice guys because they might seem a little boring and not as exciting. But I think that that's what you need to sort of be aware of is just, you know, in the past I think you've gotten in trouble by um, – you know, if you are you have that super strong physical attraction and then you just go with it. I mean, we've all gotten ourselves in trouble that way, right? So mm-hmm. it feels like um, there's a learning process going on right now with you. And, you know, like doing it differently this time. And I do feel that it's happening. I'm trying to get a timeline here. Okay, so I'm seeing October. So I know that's like, well... It's a little minute away. (laughs) Yeah, it's like six months away. But I feel like there's a learning period going on where, um, you know, you do want to find, like, the person, right, instead of just, like, the, you know, whatever, like Mr. Right now. You want Mr. Right. Right, yes, ma'am. You know, quality takes time. And so I'm saying take the time, take the next six months, what they're saying, to – 
um, be more discerning and not just go with the physical attraction, focus on the character and personality more. And um, mm -hmm. somebody who seems boring may be the best partner, you know, if he makes you laugh every day and, you know, has a good heart and is honest because there's there's just this feeling of in the past just being, you know, going with the physical thing and then picking the wrong person. So mm -hmm. you deserve you deserve the best. You deserve to be treated mm -hmm. really well and to be looked after rather than you looking after them. That's mm -hmm. what I'm getting, so. You have been like a caretaker or something, and a, I you know, have. Don't want to, I have, yeah. and I'm a you mother to too, a, as well. Yeah, you don't want to get a fixer upper. You know, the way he is yes, is the way he is. That's what they're saying. So when I'm just talking yes. like this, I'm just trying to channel what they're giving me, and so mm -hmm. and not not get in the way. So um, a nice man, you know, uh, possibly meet him in church or you know or, or whatever. It could be at the gym going to be that I'm, I'm getting weak in the knees when I look at this man it's going to be a more uh, uh, gradual attraction like more maybe a friendship a little bit and then you ease into something that is really good but I, I do see this more in October for you okay and you see it being something you know long term is what you're saying yes yes but you have to take the time to just just you know Realize you don't want what you had, and you're going to take the time yes, to find the quality, the quality person, because yes, you know you got to do what's right for you and for your family. Yes, ma'am. Right, and you will, you will. It's just a little learning period you're going through, which feels a little lonely, but you'll when it's when it you'll find the person, it's going to be worth the wait. Okay, so no dating now, right? Just <sighs> well, it would be just for practice <laughs> okay. you know to see like if you go out to dinner with somebody you'll see is this what i want really instead of just like oh look at his eyes he's cute you know um, yes, you know focusing on different things than you're used to so that you okay. can say is this is this a long-term partner or is he or is he like flashy and is he you know trying to move things along too fast and that kind of a thing um, I think you need to learn the difference in the feelings that you have um, between, you know, a person and a. So I that's it know. right there. That's the learning. That's the learning process yeah. right there for me, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Just being able to have male companionship without going too far. Yes. With him. Yeah, and discerning is this is this what I yes, want for the rest of my life? If not, then it was nice knowing you. Yes, ma'am. You know. Right, and not going further and further, and going, what What am I doing now? I'm in a relationship, and trying to and trying to change them. You're right. You said that already. Six yep. uppers and all that. I have done it. Yeah. Yep. yep. <sighs> so just take this time. You can go to dinner with someone, but I wouldn't jump into anything. Take the time, at least six months, to really learn. Okay, that's what they're telling me. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Shakira, I feel that he's going to be a spiritual man. He's going to have dark hair, dark eyes. He's going to be medium built and medium height. He works for mm -hmm. himself. He's self-employed, and he does some kind of service work. And I do feel that he's been married before, that he's divorced, that he has uh, three children from a previous relationship. So he's a father, and I do feel that mm -hmm. he has a dog. He loves animals. He has dogs and cats. So loving animals is a big plus. He's he's an animal lover, and he likes kids. I feel your kids mm -hmm. would like him, that he would get along with your children, and that they would like him. It feels like it's going to be a relationship that's going to lead to marriage within one or two years, that you're going to get married so it's going to be a good relationship for you, Securia. It may take a little you. while for the relationship to come, but it'll be worth the wait. And, yes, person, how can Shakira get in contact with you? Oh, sure. My um, website is foreverinspirit.com, and my phone number is 310-490-7424. And Thank you can you. get a hold of me at 818-744-5241 or 
or go to PsychicHorizon.com. And thank you for calling the Psychic Horizon Show. Thank you both so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm now going to continue my interview with Kirsten Roth, and then I'm going to take my next, or we're going to take our next caller, which is area code 562. How do I improve my connection with my guides, uh, Kirsten? Oh, great. Um, you know, uh, there's a there's a ton of different exercises, but something that's really important that my mentor gave me an exercise to do, which is to ask a question. Actually, write it down in a, um, like a little notebook or journal. Ask a question of my guides. If you're just starting out, you could say, "Who are you?" and uh, or, or whatever you want to know. But you know, first I wanted to see who they were, <laughs> because we all have several guides. Um, and then I would meditate. And whether you meditate for five minutes or 20 minutes, it's just, you know, whatever you feel, asking this question and sort of receiving an answer. And then when you finish meditating, you write down the answer. And when you write, you don't edit and you don't think. You just write. And it could be two sentences. It could be two pages, uh, whatever it is. And that is how I got to know my guides, who they were, what their functions are, because usually each one has a different function. One person might help you with relationship questions. Another one might help you with medical intuition and um, or connect to pets, different things like that. So that's one way to do it. And, you know, the most important thing for any developing um, psychic or medium uh, is meditation, meditation. So um, I started, um, years ago I did a, a what I call a mediumship boot camp with James Van Prague, and um, he taught us about opening up our seven main chakras, and uh, to me that's still how I, uh, I meditate for every reading I do, and I still open up my seven main chakras, and I just see sort of like a, a flower them you know they're different colors and you see that color flower opening up like blossoming and moving in a clockwise direction and spinning and then as each one spins you go to the next one and the next one until you get to the crown chakra and you open that up and then you're all ready to receive um so that's you know basically the cliff notes version of how to connect with guides and with spirits Awesome. Let's take our next caller, Kirsten, which is Sarah Code 562. Hello, 562. Hi, Kirsten. Hi, Shelley. This is Cheryl. Hi, Hi Cheryl. Hello, Cheryl. Hi. Um, I got a lot of things going on. Uh, one of the things is my mother. She's having a medical procedure this morning, and... Um, there's some worry there, and I've had long issues with my husband. So I don't know, whatever you pick up on. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, so as soon as you said your mom, I, I got the health issue happening. And, um, uh, you know, I feel your your mom is um, <laughs> a strong person. I was going to say stubborn, but I'll just say strong, which is good you know, when you are going through <laughs> difficult health situations because it's like, you know, dang it, I'm going to get through this, you know. Um, there's a feeling of being tough in that way. Um, and um, uh, is it related to her heart? She does have arrhythmia in her heart, yeah. so she's in there because she wasn't taking care of herself. Yeah. She she lost her housekeeper and so she wasn't eating, she wasn't taking yeah. her medication. Um so they um so she was taken to the hospital, so it's her heart and also her stomach. Okay. They're just pointing me to the heart area, so um they give me, you know, like experiences I've had in my own life to relate to people I speak to. And my, my aunt had an arrhythmia and I took her in for a procedure which was like to shock her heart into beating normally. And she had that procedure. So if she was younger, because she was in her late eighties at that time, they would have given her replaced a valve. So there may be a valve issue with your mom. Um but she was like eighty nine and she was too old to replace the valve, so they just, you know, let her at least her heart was beating normally 
for a few years. Well, she that. has a, my mother has a hiatal hernia, okay. and she's had it for a long time, and so her stomach is now, yeah. uh, it's hard for me to visualize this, but anyway, her stomach is now up in her chest where ah. it's not supposed to be. So they're going to do an upper GI, and okay. my mother, um, you know, she, my girlfriend Donna was her housekeeper would go in every Tuesday. My mother loved and adored her. I mean, we we I've we've known Donna since I was this in grade school. And yeah. my mother knew her mother, so my mother knew her, trusted her, and Donna was like used to, would become overwhelmed by being and doing everything for her. So now my sister saying, you know, we're going to get some help, but maybe but my mother when she um Donna quit cuz of my my other sister. I have two sisters, my yeah. bad sister. And so there was a some some chaos and and stuff. So she she, she quit. Well, my mother when she heard about Don, I said Donna just just you need to separate my bad sister to my mother. Your relationship with my mother is separate. Yeah. And so I said, you know, just kind of make peace, goodwill. And Donna said, send her an Easter card. And Donna says, I, I can do that because Donna saw her go to, in the ambulance and told me about it. And so then when my mother heard that Donna was, you know, when she went to hot Donna, my mother just sat right up. Her face looked like lit up like a Christmas tree. Donna? Donna's going to come back. Donna, Donna's going to call me, you know, and uh, Donna only said peace and goodwill. Don- yeah. And she's, and everybody loves her. She's got a, she's gifted in that she's got the gift of gab when she works with these old people, you know, these old ladies that are still living at home. I mean, she's, and men, I, I don't know, but you know, she's, these people, they love her, and they beg for her, and she helps them, you know, change the sheets on her bed, vacuum, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Up and down the street, you know, basements, back east, up and down the basements doing laundry. And so my mother loved her and trusted her. So Donna never agreed to go back and help her, yeah. but I said, you know, she says it's overwhelming. And I talked, she says, let me think about it, go back. But my, 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 um, my, um, I, I guess she's full for the week. So the time yeah. she had for my mother, my mother never called her back. It's like uh, one, each other expected the other to call, and neither yeah. one called because they were waiting for the other. And so Donna says, your, your mother never called, so I took the, I needed the money, and someone right. I gave your mother's slot to someone else. So now she's booked. That's the word right. I was looking for, booked. Well, what I, you're telling the, me is there's there's other good people. There are. So... This is not the only person. This is a great person for your mom, but there may be someone else as well. So you have to have other options as well. They did keep showing me the chest, so that could be, you know, part of the hiatal hernia. There's the valve issue. I just want to get back to, you know, the reading part. And so sometimes, you know, with a valve, it, it, they'll, sometimes they'll have a pacemaker or something like that at some point. I just wanted to mention that in case that happens. Um, and they're telling me there's other good people out there, so you may want to look for a few other options as well so you don't just have the one option. Mm-hmm. Um, and that your mom is very strong, but there's a stubbornness, okay, that I feel that, you know, might might make her closed off to other people or something, and you sort of have to talk her into things. And once she meets, you know, she could meet them, and if she likes someone, let them, you know, right. have a trial. So there are always options. That's what my guides are saying. You know, there are always options. You feel like stuck, like there's a brick wall in front of you, but just know there's always options, okay? So you're not really stuck. It's just a feeling you're having. Just know that, okay, I have to think about, okay, other people. Who who else can I find? And there are other nice people that can help, okay? Okay, so she'll get through this. She will. I do feel she will. She may have to have, like I said, another procedure, but um, this is, I, I don't feel like this is, you know, the end for your mom. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. And in, the, in the, my husband, that's probably another issue. My husband, it's an ongoing issue. My, my husband has health issues cropping up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So do I still have time, Shelley, or are we running out? Because we have. We only have five minutes, so we don't have much time left. Okay. Um, do you want to say anything? Because I don't want to, you know, take all the time here. I feel that 
your husband has serious health issues and that he's under a doctor's care, he's getting medical care, and they're going to be able to stabilize his condition. I don't see him healing at this time or getting better, but I do see his condition being more stable. And there's some type of surgery that's going to be coming up that he's going to be getting, and the surgery is going to help a lot. And I feel the doctor is going to recommend surgery on his stomach and that that's coming up before the end of the year, the surgery. Kirsten, how can Cheryl get in contact with you? My website is foreverinspirit.com, and my phone number is 310-490-7424. Okay, thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, You're Cheryl. You're very welcome. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Okay, Take thank care. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. I want to thank Kirsten Ross for being a guest on the Psychic Horizon Show. She'll be back in the future. I wanted to thank Tiffany White Sage Woman for producing the Psychic Horizon Show, and I want to thank all the callers who participated in the Psychic Horizon Show. Thank you for calling, Kirsten. Thanks, Shelley. Take care. You too. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Okay. You too. Bye-bye.